pests of the human variety have been caught on camera breaking lockdown rules on an island in Auckland's Hauraki Gulf. Cameras set up on pe- pest-free Motukoria Browns Island in March after a stoat was spotted there haven't snapped the critter, but they have caught at least six people who shouldn't have been there. Our reporter Sarah Robson spoke to Auckland Councillor and Chair of the Environment Committee Richard Hills. During Level 4 and Level 3, our stoke detection cameras have detected at least six people walking on Motu, Korea, Browns Island um, during that time. Uh, and maybe more because our cameras don't cover the whole island. Um, that's captured people there at one thirty in the morning, a couple walking down the beach with a glass of wine in their hand. But they must be getting there by boat or kayak, travelling well over one and a half kilometres from the coast at least. So it's kind of breaking the level three and four restriction. How disappointing is it to see something like that happening? You know, everyone has been trying their best. I think Aucklanders have shown that everyone is playing to the, the rules and restrictions as much as they can, but to see something so blatant to travel that far, potentially put themselves in danger and uh, the Coast Guard having to come out in the middle of the night uh, to help people, it is pretty disappointing to see people uh, travelling that distance to get to um, our Gulf Islands. And obviously it's not just concerning from an emergency response perspective, it's also a concern about the conservation efforts that are going on as well, right? Yeah, definitely. So if those people are disturbing our traps and it's also the the volunteers would love to be out there helping uh, do, do work on the island, but they can't because of the level three restrictions. So to have people just kind of casually out there potentially bringing other pests to the island um, or also disturbing uh, bird species or the, or the traps that are set for the stoat, it is pretty disappointing. And what do we know about the fate of these stoats? Uh, the stoat is still um, on the loose. It's been quite tricky. Uh, it has killed some non-native species and has even hid uh, some of those kills in our traps. So it's purposely evading traps and also using our traps as storage for its own food. So it's a pretty... Uh, intelligent stoat by the sound of it that likely has swum the distance from the coast um, as well. So it'll be a difficult one to catch, unfortunately. And that was Auckland Councillor Richard Hill speaking to our reporter Sarah Robson.